My name is Keith Mazza. Most of you know me as Sifu Keith. Welcome to our channel. Hey everybody, Sifu Keith here. In today's video, we're going to take basic karambit knife strikes and apply Wing Chun principles to incorporate into your training. But before we do that, I need you to go to the boxes, click like and subscribe, and click the bell to always to be kept up with our latest videos. Thank you for your continued support and have a great day. From a cross arm stance, take a release step, apply a pox out, and a downward number one strike to the elbow. From a cross arm stance, take a release step, apply a pox out, and a downward number one strike to the elbow. From a cross arm stance, take a release step and deflect your opponent's blow using a downward number two strike. As you simultaneously back your blade up with a pox out. From a cross arm stance, take a release step and deflect your opponent's blow using a downward number two strike. As you simultaneously back your blade up with a pox out. Defend the round punch using a release step with a lop sow as you use number three across the inside of the body. Defend the round punch using a release step with a lop sow as you use number three across the inside of the body. From a cross arm position, take a side step, apply a pox out with a backhand cross cut to the body. From a cross arm position, take a side step, apply a pox out with a backhand cross cut to the body. Take a half side step to slip your opponent's jab. Simultaneously, apply a number five strike to the body. Take a half side step to slip your opponent's jab. Simultaneously, apply a number five strike to the body. From a cross hand position, use a release step with an inside lops out and a downward diagonal strike. From a cross hand position, use a release step with an inside lops out and a downward diagonal strike. Sidestep and defend the cross with a rear hand pox out and strike downward with a reverse strike number two. Sidestep and defend the cross with a rear hand pox out and strike downward with a reverse strike number two. Defend the round punch using a release step with an inside lop cell, followed with a number three strike across the body. Defend the round punch using a release step with an inside lop cell, followed with a number three strike across the body.
defend the straight punch using a half side step, poxal, and a number four strike across the body. Defend the straight punch using a half side step, poxal, and a number four strike across the body. Defend the straight punch using a half side step, rear hand poxal, apply a number five strike to the body. Defend the straight punch using a half side step, rear hand poxal, apply a number five strike to the body. The figure eight drill is a drill based on distance and timing. Start the drill slow and every time your opponent attempts to strike you, defend the strike using figure eight cutting techniques. Begin nice and slow, use predetermined angles of attack. As you begin to feel more comfortable with the drill, increase the speed at which you practice the drill at and vary the combinations of which your opponent may attack. Use your snake bite technique to defend your opponent's jabs. As he attempts to hit you, strike out and down at the arm. Use your snake bite technique to defend your opponent's jabs. As he attempts to hit you, strike out and down at the arm. And don't forget to hit the like, subscribe, and share buttons. And when you hit the subscribe button, please hit the bell notification to all so we can let you know as soon as we put out a new video. And we want you to know that we're here for you. So leave your comments below. We're going to get back to each and every one of you to make sure your questions get answered. And once again, thank you. We look forward to being your all things Wing Chun and more for many years to come.